Do you have an existing garment like pants, skirt, or dress that you feel is a touch too short? This video will show you how to get a little more from the hem and make them longer. I'll do my demonstration with pants, but this will also work for any garments that have extra fabric in the hem. First, make note of the hem both in terms of amount and how it's finished. In this example, the hem is folded, so there might be an extra quarter inch to add to what we can see, which is about 7 eighths of an inch of hem. It's also machine stitched into place. This next example is a dress your hem. Here I have about one and a half inches of fabric in the hem. While we can see a surging stitch, this is more for finishing the fabric's raw edge. Looking at the right side, it's hard to notice any hemming stitches. This means a blind hem was used. Grab your seam ripper and carefully remove the stitches holding the hem in place. For these pants, I'm removing the machine hem, and for the dress pants, I'd carefully try to remove the blind hem only. Once all the stitching is removed, grab the iron. Check the garment care tag because you don't want to damage the fabric. If the fabric can handle the heat, press the bottom of the hem and remove any previous hem folds. It's helpful to use steam or lightly spritz the area with water in addition to pressing with an iron. Don't use water if it's dry clean only. You can utilize a press cloth or an old cotton pillowcase to put between the iron and garment fabric for more protection when pressing. Next, we're going to sew an extra fabric-like material at the bottom. This can be hem tape, ribbon, bias tape, or something similar. If you're working with a lightweight, delicate fabric, consider something like a sheer type of ribbon so you're not weighing the fabric down at the hemline. Overlap the ribbon with the fabric's edge on the right side of the fabric about one quarter inch, pin into place. At your sewing machine, sew a standard straight stitch attaching the overlapped ribbon with the fabric. When it comes to the overlapped ends of the ribbon, you can apply product to prevent fraying or clear nail polish. We can now sew a new hem using as much as the previous hemmed fabric as needed. So in my example, if I fold exactly on the ribbon's edge, I can make my pants about 7 eighths of an inch longer. For the dresser pants, I can add about 1 and a quarter inch more to the length. Obviously, you can do anywhere in between this as well. After pinning, press again to create a new crease. Use the same hem finishing method as in the original. So I would machine stitch at the top of the ribbon in my example. If you need an example of blind hemming, we'll put a link in the description of both machine and hand blind hemming. Again, this will work for many garments except those that don't have extra fabric in the hem allowance area. But if you do have some, then you're in luck and can make those garments fit a little better. Our book, Professor Pincushion's Beginner Guide to Sewing, Garment Making for Nervous Newbies, is now available to order. Go to professorpincushion.com forward slash books or click on the link in the description to see a list of vendors where you can purchase it.